Today I'd like to tie for you a Hemingway Dark Henriksen. The hook I have on the vise is a curved shank, three extra long. This is a size 14. I'm going to use Hemingway's Mayfly wings, and here they are. These are medium wings, and these are tan. You can get them in light yellow, yellow, light gray, tan, and dark. I'm going to use gray thread. This is 8 op. I'm going to put a base of thread down halfway. And then we're going to come forward half of that. On the wings here you can see there's a dull side and there's a shiny side. What we want to do is put the shiny sides together. I'm going to pinch the tips to the same and then pinch them together. We're going to tie them on by that tab. I'm going to come up to the tab and I'm going to go in the rear. Yeah, and be careful they sometimes they like to roam there a little bit and I want to get those tied in right close to that wing we could even make a figure eight on there it's not real needed a real lot because there is a nice space in there. And I'm going to go ahead and take the thread back to the tail area. For our tail, I'm going to use blue done hackle and we want to make sure that you can see there's a lot of web on here but the tips are nice and stiff and we're going to use those tip sections for the tail. Just going to pull them all together there and pull them all off at the same time. They are nice and brought together and I want that wing to be about the length of the body. I have all this extra so I'm going to just trim that off right now. Go ahead and tie them in. I'm going to put a wrap underneath the tail. Now for the body, I'm going to use gray super fine dubbing. This is just Adam's Gray. We're going to put that on pretty thin, especially near the rear section. You can make it a little bit heavier in the middle, but you want to thin it out again on the end. Just slide that up as far as you could. Then we're going to go back first to get to the rear and then we're going to take this forward. I'm going to bring that right up there at the wings. Even use that to do a little bit of a figure eight there. And we should have our dubbing right up to the base of the wings. I'm going to put just a speck more on there to get that that much closer.
there we go we have it pretty much closed in now I'm going to take my dubbing whirl and I'm going to make a dubbing loop right there in front and then I'm going to advance my thread there a bit I'm going to take my dubbing block, I'm going to grab it with the clip, pull that out, and remove that stem. Now we have that in there, we're going to put our clip inside the dubbing loop, pull it off, and grab a hold of the CDC with the thread. I'm going to go ahead and pull this a little bit, separate them just a little bit, just adjust them to where you want them. I'm going to give my dubbing whirl a spin. Now we got a nice CDC loop there. Bring my thread back out of the way. And we're going to go ahead and wrap this. And when we start to get the CDC on there, we want to pull the materials to the one side. And just put one wrap in front of the previous. And now I can tie that off. Get rid of that dubbing loop. I'm going to hold everything back and tie off the head. Build a nice little head there. Take our whip finisher, get rid of the thread, clean our dubbing brush off pretty good. And just get it with a little bit of head cement. And here we have a Hemingway Dark Henriksen. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.